What's going on everyone? Welcome back to this week's episode where I will be playing Defender 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now I have to admit, going into this video, I was actually meaning to play Defender and I didn't realize until I started playing that, whoa, this is, the screen came on and I was like, this is Defender 2. And then I started playing it and then I didn't realize until after, so I guess we're doing a Defender 2 video. Um, Should have known because Defender is only on the Atari, right? I don't think it ever made it to the NES. So today we'll be talking about Defender 2, 1988, ported onto the Nintendo Entertainment System by HAL Labs. It's a action side-scrolling shoot-em-up and should be fun. I love side-scrolling shooters. Uh, even vertical ones too, love 1943 and all those games. But this one's a little bit confusing. It's called Stargate in Japan. And when it was released in 88 in the US or North America, I think it had troubles with that name. I'm not sure if it was a copyright issue or something like that. And so they called it Defender 2, which makes sense. The premise of the game is to save your little humanoids that are on your planet from alien invaders. You have to shoot the alien spaceships or orbs uh, before they suck up your little guys and turn them into mutants. So it should be some awesome side-scrolling alien action. Let's go.
Okay, welcome back. That was Defender 2, not 1, 2 on the NES and definitely passed the 5 minute challenge. Such a fun game. It was really hectic though. The gameplay was so smooth and fast, almost too fast. <laughs> I think by the end of the 5 minutes I got a little dizzy and nauseous. I think I was sitting too close to the screen. So I guess all those years of uh, our moms telling us to move away from the TV, uh, it's true. Maybe we should step away a little bit when playing Defender 2. I think it was the hectic side-scrolling back and forth action that kind of got my eyes a little bit low. But definitely, definitely a great game. Highly recommended, must play. The music was uh, very alienish, so I give that an 8. The graphics were simplistic, but I mean, I think it was meant to be simplistic. It didn't really need to be more detailed. Uh, so I give it a seven. Actually, the little humanoids, uh, the legs were like flopping back and forth when they were uh, being transported. So that was kind of cool, graphics wise. Uh, the gameplay, very smooth, like I said before, very fast. I give that an eight. Uh, just, just don't play it so close to the screen. Pro tip. And try not to shoot the humanoids like I did a whole bunch of times. Because uh, at the end, that's how you're judged how many humans uh, are left on your planet after the level's over. But in the end, I give this game 7 out of 10 Marios. I will definitely play it again. So that's three weeks in a row a game has kind of crushed the 5-minute challenge and the ratings. So I'm looking forward to next week maybe picking a lesser known game. Maybe it'll be the original Defender with the iconic shirt, which I don't have. Maybe I'll go get. But we'll see. Anyways, hope to see you there next week. Thanks for watching. J plus K retro gaming channel.